Natural Horse Gathering is an event that we run every year here at Brinkworth House. Um, it's the second Sunday in September and it's meant to be a gathering for like-minded people, people who are interested in, in their horse and, and being as with the horse, as natural with their horse as they can. It's a bit of a funny term, but it's the best we've come up with. The whole thing, because as soon as he thinks about moving, he will go into an automatic um, reaction of how he's always done it. It's about really forming partnership with the horse and being able to um, connect in a, a kind of heartfelt way with the horse and so there's a lot of uh, alternative and complementary stuff that is here if you come to the gathering you'll find um, not your usual uh, trade stands but you'll find exhibitions of a very wide variety but things that are perhaps a little unusual next being free of tension I'm just putting very, very light hands. When we talk about natural with horses, um, I guess that in an ideal world, what would be natural would be to turn them out into thousands and thousands of acres of prairie land and just leave them be, like the wild mustangs in, Amer in America or um, maybe the ponies on Dartmoor, and sort of very little human interaction. But the truth of the matter is most of us have horses because we love horses, we want to interact with them. And um, I think that what we've done is coined the term natural as opposed to the type of horsemanship that certainly we were trained in, which was very um, kick it here, pull it here, um, it's, di it's disrespecting you, it's being disobedient, smack it, back it up with the leg. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's it's a, a human, a being way of being with the horse rather than a mechanical way of being with the horse. So taking some notice of this living being that is next to you, underneath you. Um, and working and, with it. And working with it, finding a way that the horse can be as happy as you are about being riding. This horse, and we're going to play some more. Hold it for a second. The better your relationship with your horse, the safer you're going to be. And ultimately what people are after, certainly what we were after, is having a relationship where you can have fun with your horse, you can enjoy your horse and achieve what you want to achieve. Whatever that is, whether that's hacking out, whether that is um, doing a dressage competition, going hunting, jumping, anything, whatever that is with your horse, you want to be able to do it, enjoy it, and the way to enjoy it is to be safe. And I think that the natural horsemanship, as we're talking about it here, and there are many exponents of it, um, is really about creating a safe, willing partnership with your horse. And that's got to be good for the horse and the human, no matter what your discipline is. And when you get to the point that the, the horse is that willing, the horse will actually fill in for you. I mean, people, any being makes mistakes, and to have the horse fill in when you make a mistake is a, a wonderful feeling and again contributes to being safer. Oh, we didn't come off because the horse actually helped me out there. Today we're here to showing how um, we can use natural horsemanship, body language, to communicate with the horse, to work together rather than trying to force a horse into a situation. Uh, Rest and has several origins. Um, some say it comes from the Spanish, some say from the military. Generally it comes from ranching, the cowboys. It's designed from a military saddle that's designed into a working saddle for the cowboys to use for roping and working on the range. Um, they allowed the horse to carry more weight across his back and comfy and less, less to fix. And really a durable saddle for cowboys to live on the range for months at a time. Western riding doesn't really differentiate from English riding at all much. Um, as I'm qualified for both, I teach the same way. It's old classical style that comes from the Spanish riding school. So the only thing that's gone lost through the years is through the English riding. Got, people got lazy, started to use gadgets to train a horse, force an outline, force horse into situation. Rather than training a horse, progressing and working with the horse to build the muscles up and allow it to do work softly, more freely and more supplely. The spurs look dangerous, but they're not. A um, lot of people say, oh my God, do you ride in those big spurs? And I say, yes. It's the same as a bit in English riding. The bit is only as strong as the hand it's in. The same as spurs. Spurs are only as strong as the foot it's on. And 
with the spurs they look big and dense but it allows to get more contact where we want it on the horse underneath the rib cage rather than on the side of the ribs so it's again it's that basic exercise i demonstrated is if you point in your ribs you bring the stomach up and six pack back and you use those muscles same as a person you use the six pack muscles to reinforce the back muscles so the horse is stronger more able to do the maneuvers and also allows me to give more accuracy on where i want the horse to move and to bring the leg so far back so if i've got a fist that would be my heel so i've got more contact less area to play with but if i have a spur i have the same amount of area but i can ask for different commands within that area so the reason why a spur is used same as english right is just more accuracy within a, a smaller space horse relationship is a teamwork you've got to be a team if you're not a team you're going to be fighting all the time you've got to get on um, it's like some horses you'll get on with and some horses don't so it's same with people you know it's just a clash of personalities you might find you get a horse there you just do not get on and somebody else will get on it and the horse will work perfectly it's just like people you know you don't you suddenly get anybody say, oh I don't like him but you've never met them before but you just don't get on there's just not that click so that's one of the main things is getting to harmonize your horse understanding how he works how he thinks how he moves what he likes where he's most sensitive and just taking the time to feel what your horse is doing. So when you ask him a question, you take the time to feel what answer he gives you back. We don't stop the horse in between, we just go and change position, left, left, to right. I ask for energy, the horse gives me energy, the power I want the horse to use to provide that maneuver. And rather than shutting the horse down and blocking energy, I use the reins of my body and just release energy through a door. So you've got to think of it like um, a dam. The horse is a dam with sluice gates on each side. So if I'm going to irrigate a field on the left, I've got to open that sluice gate and allow the water to go through. So basically it's the same situation. I'm just allowing the energy to go that way. I'm just allowing the energy to flow that way, blocking the other direction. Dude is um, eight years old. Um, I bought him when I was living in Ireland. Um, maybe six months, I took him to Ireland slowly got him working there, he had, a, he had a quite a long holiday. Um, then I moved to Switzerland to train with the European champion there, Tatiana Krasinski. And now I was in Switzerland, I broke and trained dude myself. Um, he was a lazy horse, he made me work harder than he did. But that's just the way he is, he's very independent, uh, he's very dominant. So you've got to be careful, we don't push him too much, or he gets a bit annoyed. Um, he was a stallion until he was five. Um, unfortunately we had to cut him late, but that's just one of those things. But he's, um, he's a real friendly horse. I think if he went to a careers advisor, his choice of profession would be a petting zoo. <laughs> he's, he likes to be petted, fed and groomed, and he doesn't really like to work. So, But he enjoys coming to these shows. He doesn't have to work too hard. He enjoys the puppies. He likes the people coming up and saying hello and patting him. So he really loves these days.